Welcome. My guest today is Rob Munn, SNP member, former councillor. Rob, what were your impressions of um, the launch last Friday of the Yes campaign for the independence referendum? Uh, well, I thought it was very upbeat. Uh, I wasn't there myself, so I've only seen what was on the news and uh, read some of the stuff in the, in the press and online about it. But uh, I think what's important to, to remember, and it's maybe getting a bit lost, is that this is a campaign rather than a political party that, that was launched. Very much so. And it's a campaign that's broad, broad based, so it's different from uh, an SNP campaign launch, uh, if you like, although obviously. It, do you think there was a deliberate attempt not to, to make it look too professional, or was that just... I gather it was only three weeks' notice from planning to execution. I, I have no knowledge of any... any well, was an at SNP all. insider told me yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, I have no, no knowledge at all. And, and, and Lane C. Yeah. Smith, a leading light mm -hmm. of the Scottish Independence Campaign, the convention, chair, in fact, if I'm correct, um, she wasn't given the chance to, she was already booked on tour, she wasn't given the chance to come back to the city for the live event. Yeah. I think that was strategically wrong. A woman, after yeah. all. I mean, apparently pro-independence needs more women supporters, I gather. Mm -hmm. Well, I mean, I, I, I don't know, I wasn't involved in any of the organisation of it. I, like all SNP members, I got an invite, uh, but unfortunately I wasn't able to, to be there. Um, and as I say, I'm going on what's... Uh, What's the feedback been this week? Um, the talk inside the, the steamy. Again, I'd have to say, because of the, the outcome of the election, uh, I, my priorities have been elsewhere, so I haven't got oh. an awful lot of feedback from, from the, you know, within the SNP, other than what uh, probably everybody's uh, followed on, online, on, on Twitter and Facebook, and that's, that's been my reading of it, and generally from SNP uh, members and supporters, you get a Kind of relentlessly positive Positive. view, and you get a relentlessly negative view from the, the naysayers. Okay, I do. <laughs> Have you seen the, the video of the event or any clips from it? I've seen some clips, uh, mm. but I'd have to say again, not extensively because I, I just haven't made the time to, to go through it. I'm, I've not seen it all myself, but I did kind of, uh, yeah. I did catch the Oogie McLean Caledonia one, which mm. I must admit, when it came out as an advert for Tennis Lager many years ago, mm. made but cheers to me. Yeah, yeah, I, I think I went out and bought that single. It's around the time of the 1992 Westminster election, if I recall rightly. Um, I think it's in the top three of an yeah. alternative um, um, national anthem. Yeah, yeah, I can understand why. <laughs> well, thank you very much, Rob, yeah. for your impressions on that, and uh, thank you.